Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Friday. Over the last seven days, temperatures have been well below normal, and you can see that right here. Our average this time of the year is the low 90s, but I hope you were able to enjoy it because our temperatures, they are going to climb fast this upcoming week, and we're dealing with our first heat wave of the season. Uh, but this morning, clear skies out there. This was a look at Bear Lake, the sunrise. Tim Hold Holdaway posted this one to Utah's Weather Authority, and boy, skies looking beautiful. It was very pleasant and calm as you headed out early this morning. And that's the case in downtown Salt Lake City. Taking a look at the Tribune camera just a couple hours ago, sunshine just pouring into the Salt Lake Valley. It's beautiful. And then down at Zion National Park, vibrant blue skies. That's all you're seeing. No clouds out there, nothing but sunshine down here. Things are going to get hot this upcoming weekend. So let's talk about that main weather story right now. So that trough of low pressure, that slow mover, uh, that was kind of the main character in our weather story earlier this week. It brought us the showers and the storms. Well, it's on the way out. Here it is right here, making its way into Colorado. Ahead of it, we're dealing with all that wet weather. Behind that storm system, we have high pressure building in. This is going to be the main character now. This takes its place, and this uh, bad boy is going to bring us some warm temperatures this upcoming weekend, and it's going to keep us dry. So warm and sunny today, and then temperatures keep climbing this upcoming weekend. Here's the thing. For this afternoon, there is still some moisture in place that we could get a shot at some showers and storms up in the Uintas. Other than that, everyone else across the Beehive State is drying out, and all we have is sunshine. So let's talk about the holiday week and I know what's going through your mind you know what's it going to feel like as you get out there and, and spend some time outside it's going to be sunny all weekend long and with that we're dealing with our hottest temperatures of the year so far and that's going to be all across the beehive state wait until you see how quickly and how high these temperatures climb and you know when we deal with this heat at this time of the year we also get that decreasing air quality so air quality starts to go downhill tomorrow so keep that in mind if you are spending some time outside typically today we're uh, in the low 90s uh, we're going to be just shy of that uh, mid to upper 80s today in Salt Lake City. Calm breeze coming out of the northwest 5 to 10 miles per hour, but it's going to be a really beautiful day. And if you need to do any yard work, today is going to be a good day for it because we're going to be dealing uh, with that extreme heat later on this weekend. So we've got those mid to upper 80s across the Wasatch Front, still below average, not for long though. Mid 70s in Park City, nothing but sunshine down south. We're talking mid 80s in Blanding. You've got 100 degrees, so triple digits down in St. George, low 80s in Vernal. And tonight we're dropping down to the low 60s. So still mild as you wake up tomorrow morning, a great morning to do some yard work. Uh, but you want to do it early on because tomorrow's a day where we climb fast. And you can see that in St. George. By the time we get to this weekend, I mean, we're even hotter. 105 degrees Saturday, 109 Sunday, reaching 110 on Monday for your 4th of July. Uh, it is going to feel a bit cooler. You're probably not going to notice much, much of a change. 106, still toasty, and we're going to stay pretty close to that into early next week. And in northern Utah, let's take a look at your weekend. couple mornings where it's not too bad out there, pretty mild, at least tomorrow morning. We'll reach the low 90s Saturday, and temperatures are well above average. By the time we get to Sunday, mid-90s, even hotter Monday, we're getting close to the triple digits, close to that century mark. The one thing that might keep us away from there, it's going to be some of those clouds that move in on Monday and keep us at about 99 degrees. And for 4th of July, we'll drop down to the mid 90s, staying pretty close to that all week long with overnight lows hovering in the mid to upper 60s.